Welcome to our video series, Electrical Contact Fundamentals. This is Alan Huffness. This session deals with electrical contact erosion. First slide is a picture of an electrical contact set that has eroded. You can see that there's a fair amount of disruption of the contact surface, which is very typical of electrical contacts that I've seen relatively severe arcing. AC erosion, uh, something that every electrical contact engineer deals with when they're dealing with electrical contacts that switch AC currents. Uh, it happens in, in different forms. Metal bridge transfer erosion is actually the formation of a metal bridge with molten material, contact material, between two contacts that are very close together and still carrying current. Generally it's at very high temperatures. It has to be at least at the melting point of the contact material or higher and uh, it can cause a relatively significant transfer of material from one contact to another depending on which is the hotter contact or the cooler. Generally the transfer is from the hotter contact to the cooler contact. Next is arc emission transfer which is always uh, from minus to positive, but in AC circuits that uh, moves back and forth at 60 cycles per second. So the net erosion can be in either direction and generally again from the hotter to the cooler contact. Moderately slow brake speed is recommended for AC contacts. This allows the actual arc to be extinguished at a current zero. Arc energy is proportional to arc length, regardless of the amount of current that passes through the arc. So what you want to do is extinguish the arc before it gets too long, and therefore you want to have that current zero occur as the contact is opening and uh, before the separation between the two contacts is too great. So you should not open too rapidly to allow that current zero to extinguish the arc. DC erosion as opposed to AC, you always know uh, the polarity, so the metal bridge transfer generally moves from plus to minus if in fact the temperature difference between the two contacts is fairly close, fairly small. Silver copper, silver copper nickel, these are types of materials that are used. They provide a hard material, a hard contact surface which resists the transfer from one contact to another. Electron emission transfer, minus the plus, is also a factor in DC erosion. Generally, by the use of a, of a good contact material, such as silver cadmium oxide, you can reduce the magnitude of the electron emission. And this, this is done by the cat oxide actually dissociating on the surface and keeping the contact surface cool. Hardness at high temperatures is important for all DC applications and generally the material that is silver copper nickel or something similar uh, provides that. Even at high temperatures it remains quite hard. So basically you should open rapidly to minimize arc duration and close rapidly with minimum bounce. For more information go to the technical resources section of pepbrainin.com. That's where you'll find more tips from our experts, including a guide to troubleshooting common electrical contact problems. Thank you.